So people, I finished the deer head like I said I would. I spray painted it silver. Now I'm going to glue it to a canvas, but first I need to paint it. And I'm going to use the, the um, sponge technique. I'm going to just going to take the paint and go around it once with white paint. I don't want to have it any other color. So I'm going to get myself a sponge. I usually buy them in a whole pack, a bunch of them, ones you use for cleaning. And I just cut them up and use those pieces to paint with. Don't need to go out and spend all that money on those um, sponge brushes because you can use these. It's just as good. So I don't, I don't, just squeeze whatever amount you want on it. And then what I'm going to do now is just take the sponge and I wanted to have that um, antique effect and this is the best way to do it. If you want the canvas to look like it's a little bit older. Another thing that I did, because I want to hang it together with what you see, the ensemble that you see here with these, I'm going to put some blue flowers in it, the other side. I'm going to hang them parallel, just like the way you see it here. I took another line front, um, canvas, I'll keep saying in German, and I put the deer head on top here and I traced it. And then I put some silver glitter glue on it. And this is going to go on the other end. So I'm going to put this on this end. And it's going to hang on a big wall that I have. So I'm going to hang it just like this. Not on this. This is an old line, um, an old canvas that broke. It was a big hole in it. And I said, you know what? I'm just not going to throw it away. I'm going to just take this because it's, it's a perfectly good frame. And look what do you have here. You don't want that on there. a front company here in Germany they have lots of great arts and crafts stuff but this is probably one of the best paints you can buy I think here in Germany um, you can also buy cheap paints from center shop here in Germany I mean I'm in the States they probably have a lot more options I mean Germany when it comes to painting and art and Kunst what they call it in German um, they're very big in that, so it's a lot of great art museums here and art shows. from the States um, oh, I think about 11 or 12 years ago I went to Florida to vi visit my Aunt Rose and it's unbelievable the things that people throw away for the big garbage over there in Florida you can almost get brand new furniture and everything I got a Tiffany lamp I brought back from the States I can't use it here because I have to change the cable which I haven't done yet um, 
I got this from my aunt because she found them in the ga in the uh, what do you call it spa moon here in Germany in the big garbage, and it was a set. You can see that it was like a brownish color or goldish color. I'm not sure exactly. I spray painted it silver to go with the set that I'm going to hang up on my wall. So and. Um, I mean, you can do, it's plastic, so it's not heavy, it's very light. What I'm going to do with it is I'm going to stick some of these on it, little pearls. I don't know if you can see them, little pearls. I'm just going to stick them in here little by little. I'm not sure exactly how yet. I'm probably going to stick them on the outside, some on the inside, and then go like this with it. You know? zigzag it through maybe or you can add flowers to it I was thinking I wanted to get some um, blue flowers I need to buy some so that's another step I gotta go through I have these ones but it doesn't match with the color that I have right now as a theme in my entrance room that's where these are going hanging on a huge wall and the room is blue and these don't really go with it. If there was some kind of a blue flower mixed in with it, I would say, yeah, okay. But it doesn't mix in with it, so uh, it's a different thing. You can do anything. You can leave it plain. You can also do that. But I'll probably just hang it up anyway. But I'm just saying, all kinds of these things that you find in the garbage, and if you want to reuse it, you can. It's very easy. Just spray paint it. So I think spray painting is leaves um, a better um, doesn't leave a like a real thick mat when you use a brush or a sponge. The best thing is to do when you have something small like this is just spray paint it. And that's what I did here. And this is going to be one of the decorations. Like I said, you see here. Let me back it up if you can. Put it up. If you see how that's laid out right now, how it is, this is how I'm going to hang it up on the wall. Hold on, let me turn it around. So you can see this is what I'm talking about. This is how I'm going to hang it. Not with this board. This is just there because I'm going to, that's a different project. But this is going to hang on a wall that's all white. So then this is how I want to do it. I'm gonna I'm debating what I want to put inside these little cage looking things. But um, I will keep you all updated. But like I sh like I told you when I was done with my deer head from the paper toilet paper rolls. This is the deer head. I think I did a great job. There's so many other things you can do with it. I'm going to stick it onto the canvas we just finished painting and then I can hang up my set on the wall. That will be the next step will be um, the next step will be gluing the head onto the canvas once it's dry. So then stay tuned and I'll be right back. So everybody, this is pretty much done. I just gotta turn it over and put some glue on it. Hard part is I don't wanna get it on the canvas, so it's better just to go like this. And then just try to quickly, as fast as you can around it so that you can pick it up Make sure there's no strings. And then glue it. I mean, I do suggest if you want, glue it piece by piece if you want, but then you're gonna have to spray paint this whole thing. And you don't wanna do that, so. And I'm gonna get some more, another glue stick. You just glue it onto the canvas the way you want it, or how you want it, how big the canvas you want it, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here and there. See where it's loose. You know, 
just a little. You don't want to put too much. You won't be able to see through it anyway because it's, um, what do you call it? It turns, it goes see through anyway. So, you don't need to put too much glue on it because it's only paper anyway. So, and it'll be very fast glued. So, I don't want anything moving around. So, just put, like I said, you need not that much glue. Just a little. So that you know that it sticks. Most of the areas are pretty much good glued. And if you don't like the way the glue, you can still see a little bit of glue, take some white paint and just go over it. Or silver paint, depends on where the glue is. But basically this is all. If you haven't seen my video for um, making this, I had a live video. It was two hours long. I didn't expect to go that long. But this is very timely doing this because you need to make some small pieces, round pieces. There's so many different kind of forms you can make with the toilet paper rolls. So and this is what I did. So I made my little deer head. You can do anything you want. You can make an owl. You can make cats, dogs, birds, anything with this. It's all up to you and your imagination. But it's pretty stable. I think it looks great. Um, I see that it's something missing. I'm not sure exactly what, but I will add some more things to it one time or another. Make sure everything's good. It does okay if that moves. So this is the finished product. This is the toilet paper uh, roll art. Just a suggestion, something if you want to do one on the canvas. Um, there's a lot of other nice, awesome videos out there that show you how to make a huge canvas with flowers and everything, totally full. But I didn't want to have that. I just wanted to see how this would look. And I think it looks great. I think it looks great, so I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? But I hope you enjoyed this short little video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe as I will try to make at least three videos to four videos a week with little tips and bids. Um, there will be some videos, there will be a lot of them with tip of the day videos or just a, long, a little bit longer videos to show you how to renovate certain things. Like I have just recently renovated a sewing machine, an old Singer, uh, Singer sewing machine. I turned it into a table. I used acrylic pouring and epoxy. So, um, if check this out if you would like to renovate anything old at home. It would be a great idea to do. Um, I was thinking about maybe adding some of these to it. But I'm not sure. I mean, I did add corner ones to the other one. Actually, it looks pretty good, I think. Should I? Yeah, I should. I have the other one like that, too. So I'm just going to add these. Try to find some more corner ones. Oh, God, I'm glad I found some. And just add to the four corners. It's broken. We don't want that one. Hmm. A tiny one here. I think I'm gonna use this small one for down here, and I use a glue one on top. So you just take a piece of the CD and glue it onto the canvas. Cause I on the other one I made that I made the stand. Uh, I copied this. Traced it out on a canvas and then I spray painted the canvas silver. I did the same thing. I put these on it too. So I think that'll be a good idea. We don't want it lifting up. That's good. There's so many great ideas out there. 
I'm just made this channel just to keep myself busy because I don't like sitting at home and doing nothing. I don't like watching TV. And I'm, I'm always doing some arts and crafts and building things, renovating. We just renovated my entrance hall. I will take pictures of it and post it most likely on the end of this video. But here it is. I think it looks great with that. The other one has it too. So I'll take a picture of both of them together, hanging on the wall. I think it looks great. Like I said, if you enjoyed my video and you would like to see more, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please write them below. And thank you guys.